Hello everyone. In the last tutorial we learned about sprite costumes and we know that a costume is just like a different visual of our sprite. In this video we'll learn another concept about sprite which is sprite sound. Now in scratch programming there are many sprites and each sprite can have different different sounds. Uh, there can be some sprites which have no sound at all but many of the sprites have multiple sounds. So if we look at our coding area and we can see that we have a code tab. On the right hand side we can also see there is a sounds tab. Now if I click the sounds tab so all our sprite sounds will come here if I import a new sprite in my project. So let's say if I import a sprite let's say robot I'll select this retro robot here and once we have selected this retro robot and now if I go to the sounds tab we can see that this sprite has two different sounds the one is called computer beeps 1 and the other is called computer beeps 2 and we can also play these sounds by pressing this play button so I'll press the play button now and I can go to the beep 2 sound and I can also run this so we can hear that uh, each sprite can have multiple sounds and we can actually use these sounds in our code as well as we can edit these sounds as well. So we can see that there are many buttons at the bottom. So there's a button for faster which will make the sound a bit fast. There is a button for slower which will make it slow. The louder button will make it louder and there is also for fade in fade out etc. So we can use these buttons to edit our own edit our sound and it's not necessary to play the whole sound we can actually select a part of it as well. So if I just wanted to play a part of the sound what I can do is I can bring the mouse cursor anywhere and do a right click and then we can see that we have a blue line and after that we can drag the part which we want to play and once we drag it we can see this blue box and now if I'll click the play button only the sound in this blue box will be played it won't play the whole sound so I'll press the play button and you can hear that it just basically played this area of the sound it didn't play the whole sound I can also edit this sound by pressing the faster button or pressing the slow button and also pressing the softer button which will make the sound a bit soft. So we can hear that and we can also see that uh, by using these buttons we can edit our sound. Now we can also use the sounds in our code. So let's say I want to make a small program where when I click the sprite it should sound uh, computer beeps 1. So to do that what I'll do is I'll bring this code block when this sprite clicked because we want that when we click the sprite then the sound should be played and I can select uh, this code block from the sounds tab so play sound computer beeps 2 until done. Now if I click computer beeps 2 I'll see that there are three options the first option is computer beep 1 the second is computer beep 2 and the third option record is basically used to record our own sound. Now let's say I want to play computer beeps 1 so I can select that and the sound will be played is this one computer beeps 1. So now if I'll click on this sprite then computer beeps 1 sound will be played. Now I'll click the sprite. So we can hear that the computer beeps 1 sound is played. Now we mentioned that different sprites can have different sounds so I'll bring another sprite let's say a cat uh, so here it is and once I select this cat and now if I go to the sounds tab I can see that this sprite has a different kind of sound I'll play it so basically it's a meow sound of a cat and I can basically again edit these uh, this sound by using these button uh, let's make it a bit robotic so we can hear that now it's a bit robotic and I can undo this from this undo button 
so yeah today we learned about about sprite sounds and in the later videos we will actually go through all of these code blocks of sound so in today's video that's it thank you very much